Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are watching a match between Mark Orell and Carthage. We have Mark Orell in the blue as the Ptolemies and Carthage in the green as the Athenians. The big house zone coming up. Farmstead house. Not too much to speak about in this early parts of the game. I'll focus a little more on cinematics. Look at these chickens here. What have we got? Five mercenary th Thereos skirmishes. It's a very specific kind of skirmisher. One man all the way out here chopping wood. I imagine these guys are going to build a storehouse. Hmm. Either going for hunt or early raids, Mark Orell. Very early timing for that. Los Athenaeus. The Athenian Slinger Militia. Nothing being built. Oh, two more. Yeah, just for Hunt at the moment. Parvo Christatus. Oh. Just zoom in a little bit to fix the field textures. Oh, no. There we go. DSD? Some idol here. Ah. Uh, house. What's the pop? Ah, uh, he's capped. They're capped. Whereas. Mark Orell. The Ptolemies are, Ptolemies are basically never going to be population capped. Basically never. Big 8 batch. I like that. Some men on stone straight up. in order to uh, get a few more Slinger Militia out a bit earlier. I would imagine. Ooh. Got a hoot and a bit full stop W coming out over here. Interesting. I like that. I like that.
No exchange happening there? Don't think any units... Oh, one unit was lost. Twenty ladies just sitting inside. This was the exact thing that happened to that Carthage did to his opponent in the last game to a Mars. raid population still a little even I would have imagined that the uh, Ptolemies be a little ahead in population at this point well okay there we go Very strange. Just back to building empires, it seems. Ascending the empires. This is Empire's Ascendant. After all. more arches, six more ladies. No worries about population capacity here for a little while. Strategian going up. Outposts. Carthage does like outposts, it seems. health camels here.
Hmm. Yeah, a few of these will go down here. Interesting. Fairly even trade. Why isn't that working? Well, it is now. Okay. Hoplites. Many, many hoplites coming out here. Big spears. Good against the horses. Camels. Things with four legs. Plow. Upgrades coming out. I don't think any yet for Mark. Where is the granary or whatever? Doesn't have one at all. Okay. Farmstead. really corner anybody in a sphere, can you? Or a circle. Well, I guess it would have to be a sphere. Or at least a dome on top. Otherwise they could jump over <laughs> into the blackness. Alright, well that happened. Going up to phase two here is Mark Oral. I'm grabbing some carrier pigeons on the side of the Athenians. It's fairly even, I would say. I couldn't really tell you who was ahead. Carthage definitely seems to be ahead on upgrades. But on resources and population and just the natural effect of Ptolemy's being able to get all of its buildings out earlier. 
which, which basically means this wood is about the same, really, because my Carthage needs to use about 300 of these wood to get more population later on. Oh, he's pretty good on his pop cap right now. Getting wedge and mallet also. Mark Oral just now getting axe heads. Many upgrades coming out. This is where it starts to really build up. Hopefully we'll see both team sides reach phase three in this matchup. Both already going to phase two. He's clicked up or ticked up. What did they, what did they call it in the uh, in the old in the old times? Playing a very defensive game, Carthage. He does not want Carthage to be destroyed. Well, Athens. Or mini Athens. An Athenian outpost at the very least. All these camels on low HP. Three camel. Twenty two camels. Twenty one, twenty. I imagine that number is going to go down to about eighteen very soon. <laughs> at least, at most, eighteen. He kept it at 19. I would not have thought it possible. Look at this empire that we've got going on here. Got a buy ream out already. It'll be ticking up to phase three fairly soon. Oh, there's the farmstead. There's stuff on the roof. How oh, nice. Carthage, another upgrade here. What's that? The uh, just stronger axe. A little bit stronger. Hmm. Mark Oral's population is looking a little scary for Carthage right now. If he knew. keep saying uh, he for Carthage. It's just that the image I get in my mind when I think of the word Carthage is of an old man with a beard. So, uh, so there's that. Hmm, <laughs> and a pentaconta coming out. Did does Mark Arrow, he has no idea. Neither of them have any idea, <laughs> any idea that the other has water. Now they do. Well, 
One Byream versus two Pentecostas. How's this gonna go? Oh, not well for old, uh, old mate, old mate Mark Oral. Mark, mackerel, mackerel, mark, mackerel. That's remarkable. Well, remarkable. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> for literally, just for all of it, basically. Oh, is he getting? Oh, wow. He's getting everything. He's yeah. He's digging in. That's what they call digging in for the long game. Carthage expects this match to continue for quite some time. Oh. It's a good thing I've got a drink here and I think I think um I think we'll be here for quite some time by the looks of this. And I mean, you know, although I haven't seen the outcome, I do know how long the replay goes for. That comes up in the, whoa, 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 whoa. Mark Oral already putting down the military colony. How about it? And a temple. Oh. Look at all, look at all of this stuff. Started with two civic centers 20 minutes ago. And now, this. All of this stuff.
I will. Apparently has me eating for a little while. I went to take a drink. <laughs> and then... Forgot to uh, unmute myself afterwards. What did I say? The last thing I said was uh, that Mark Oral had only just barely reached phase three before Carthage reached it soon thereafter. Taken over. In the outposts. Population capped now. Build some more houses. Come on. They're free. <laughs> they are free. Oh dear. Oh. How about these things that are happening? This is intense. I can't, uh, my, I can't zoom out enough to sh show all, everything. <laughs> there are things happening just all over. All over the place. They do not walk fast enough. The slingers can sling at them. Oh, hello, hello, Heliopolis. Six ladies inside. Oh, it is happening. It is happening right now. Carthage just getting ahead in population now, just slightly. And now Mark Oral is not two for one, he's just three for two. Not quite as good as it was earlier. But this doesn't, uh, really does not look good for Carthage. Oh, seven more slingers coming out there. Silos, Athenaios. Oh, and an elephant. Oh dear. There goes the Heliopolis. over here. There. Carthage has quite a lot of food. Very good. <laughs> Formation abuse.
Oh. Deary me. Catapults. Anything coming out of this one? No. There's some units inside of it though. I don't know why exactly. Something was happening over there that I missed. Apologies for that. Oh, this bridge end's going down. This is what the end of the previous the Carthage match looked like, except he was the one doing the catapulting. They were the one doing the catapulting. Whichever. Pardon me. Oh dear. The horses. They do everything. Oh, this is just happening right now. <laughs> Check out how this is happening. It's full happening though, eh? Dear me. That's... It's unpleasant. Crates. What's his special? All soldiers in his formation, plus 15 speed and plus 3 armor. All javelin infantry, plus 15 speed. Ooh. Huge. He's basically an upgrade. Get him and just garrison him. <laughs> Well, they wouldn't be in the formation, but you'd still get the plus to the movement speed. And you would you won't lose it. That's the other thing. Because if you have them running around. <laughs> ADAs. Very even. This is where all the battle is right here. Ooh. Stratagen. Delete it! Delete it, bro. Press the delete key on your keyboard and then press yes when the thing comes up. What are you doing? Delete it! Why do people not delete buildings when they capture them? He's gonna let that go back. No, delete it! What are you doing? <laughs> delete the building! This is what capturing's for. Really? That's... okay. That's always been my way of thinking about it. He just captured it and maybe he was looking somewhere else? What, is he getting upgrades or...? No? Okay. I disagree with this course of action or this lack of action in this case. That barracks can now create more units as it just did. Many barracks in fact, one, two, three. 
Three barracks, two temples, one council chamber, a market. Not really much to see down here. Many buildings, but... Oh, there is a thing to see. He wasn't looking either. Had a whole lot of his units go down to some boats. Yeah, he thought the action was all happening up here too, I think. Old mate Mark. Old mate Mark over here. Oh, Cleopatra. Where's Cleopatra? Oh, yeah. Cool. Cleopatra has some um, awesome shooting, doesn't she? Like, crazy attack speed. <laughs> Every point three seconds she attacks. So three... Three and a third attacks per second. <laughs> oh, what's happening? No, no. The boat is... What? Strong boat. Has seven guys inside. Oh, boats with guys inside. They're strong. You gotta watch out for them. Look at that's completely turned the KDA around. Boats with guys on them. Just turned this game around. 100%. Mark Orel was winning. Now, Mark Orel is not winning. Straight up. Straight up. Carthage has 40 more population. More upgrades, I think, pretty sure. <laughs> By the seams of it. Yeah, easily more upgrades. Not as much land, but I think he mm, should be looking to expand fairly soon, perhaps. Doesn't really need to. Oh dear. Ooh. Bolt shooters. Interesting, interesting. Well, Mark Orwell is, is still in the lead. All this territory is significant. Highly significant. Territory, territory is, is very important in this game. Two lighthouses, one of them was destroyed. Guys out of the boats, repair the boats, put the guys back in the boats. Destroy the dock. Men doing nothing. Men doing everything. Mm, the game's about even. <laughs> Mark Orrell has more land. Mark Orrell has more buildings. Carthage has 50 extra units. <laughs> has... 25% more units than Mark Orrell. That is a significant amount. Cleopatra. I like Cleopatras. I wish they were stronger. 
they're really cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> the arrow shooting speed is cool and looks cool. Needs more HP. Hmm, yeah, it needs more HP. That's ridiculous. Thousand HP? Nah. Cleopatra would have at least as much HP as a boat. Yeah, there we go. At 1400. Cleopatra is easily a boat. As strong as a boat. As fast as a machine gun. I guess. I don't know. I mean, look at that. Arrows coming out. Cleopatra is rad. And if you disagree, I'm sorry about how wrong you are. Because Cleopatra is rad. May not be great in the game, although she's doing some work here. Just took a bolt to the guts. Didn't really mind. What is what is she doing? Why are you putting Cleopatra here? Put her behind stuff. Questionable Cleopatra placement by Mark Oral. Just solo YOLO. Okay, a very, a very slow kind of nothing happening over here. More bolt shooters. Wants to get some horses out. Hmm, no. Going to do it all with just foot soldiers and siege. Bush, get smashed though. Bush, big bolts. Oh wow. Mm. Here's the horses. To get rid of the siege. Oh wow. Yeah, Mark Oral just now <laughs> changed the game around completely. He was about even and now oh, he's about to be pop capped as in completely pop capped. in ya though uh, they rocks I guess what would you call them oh that pauses the game that's handy because it's a replay doesn't really say the big rocks with fire fire rocks yeah Oh, some elephants. Big red-eared elephants. Red-eared.
Oh. Is that the fella? Yeah. Oh. Mmm, the unit composition. A better unit composition. For... Carthage. Mark Oral needs, perhaps, some more horses, or in his case, hmm, camels, I guess. Well, you'd have to, you want horses, yeah. You can build them, just only from here. And here. But horses to come in and take out the siege, which kind of happened with the elephants, I guess. So, yeah. Fair enough, I guess, but... Hmm, oh dear. There goes the fortress. Um, hmm. Interesting. We've got some pikemen. Basically needs to A-click everything here. Yeah, I thought that something like that may have happened. And this has been happening too, down here. This has been... ...devastating. <laughs> it's been really... ...devastating... ...for Mark Oral. Here it is. Here it is happening. It could go either way, still. It's still fairly even. This was about to go down, though. That will be... ...damaging. What's this? Expansion? Yes. I saw that little box <laughs> shape of units. Ooh. Little wall. Interesting. Nice wall. Oh, Mark Oral. Oh. This did not end well. I mean, it hasn't ended yet. I mean, this battle. Not the whole war. Although, ee, isn't looking good. Isn't looking great. It's looking fairly mediocre, in fact.
Carthage doesn't need to have a lighthouse. Carthage just puts his triremes down. There, triremes. Pardon. Carthage almost replenished back up to full population capacity, whereas Mark Orwell has not. To the peacock. Peacocks are just bird cats. Wisdom of the day. Boats are fast. Oh. Oh dear. Things are happening. Oh no. The military colony is about to go down. Eee, that's bad. Turning out the fortress for territory. After that, it's really bad. This can't go down. He knows it. It's really bad. Everything of this We'll go to Carthage. Why is he trying to destroy it, <laughs> Mr. Micro? Mm. Oh, and that was also with elephants. It's happening everywhere. Things are happening everywhere. Oh, here it is, the big... Force. Oh dear. He can't capture it, I don't know why he's trying to capture it. <laughs> Wishful thinking there a bit, I think, from Carthage. Bolt shooters will go down immediately, the horses. Oh, this slow push from Carthage. E. E. Ooh. Lighthouse going down again. At this point, I'd probably just stop making lighthouses. Would be my tactic. My tack would be to change tack. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, stab it. Well, seems as though it will be over soon. After this goes down, the only thing standing in between Carthage and Mark Oral, standing between the Athenians and the Ptolemies. Solitary fortress on 500 HP. still not lost for Amy. Plenty of resources. No healers on the side of my coral. This looks bad. This is about the point where I would have resigned also. <laughs> Yeah. No, it, it was well played. He was <laughs> ahead. Mark Oral was... had the game under control for the vast majority of this. It was only within the last 10 to 15 minutes where Carthage had a better unit composition, had more siege control over the water, destroying these things constantly. The units going up to try and replenish getting destroyed with, I don't think Mark Oral even really noticing that it was happening. He lost a Cleopatra just to boats, you know. It's, it was pretty hectic. More buildings constructed. In total, interesting. Equal amount of fortresses. Although Mark Oral, the only one who lost fortresses. Mm. Those boats with dudes on them. I'll tell you what. That's, that was most of their game. Boats with dudes on them. Like, they took out a lot of units. Many, many, many units. And those research upgrades too. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Yeah, 
I see for about the first 20, 30 minutes, it's very even. And although the graphs don't show it, Mark Oral was still probably headed up until about here. And then, yeah, here. That's where it really changed. Well, I hope that was interesting. I hope that you have a good day.